All right, so what's going on? Um, I've been gone for two months. Um, today we're gonna be talking about what you see in the title, um, styling different clothes, showing off some different shoes. You know, I might try to get like these in there, turtle doves, um, just different things I've been wearing. What I think you could possibly put in your rotation for the fall and winter months. Um, I just actually ordered a really sick piece, Yeezy at Balenciaga. When that comes in, you know, there's going to be a video about it. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so I'm going to start off with the pants that I've been wearing that I think you should try to get to your rotation. I'm going to try to tell you how much they cost if I remember um, where to get them, stuff like that, because I'm trying to help y'all. So first up, I have cargo pants. Everybody's been wearing cargo pants, you know? These ones are by art form right there boom artform.com i believe is what it's called they're 55 dollars, i believe but these ones they're sick um they go with everything they fall right to like right where you need it to fall they're not super baggy they're not too skinny either tan black they have them in camo also i believe in a brown i need to get my hands on the brown ones i love brown next pants up i'm gonna try to keep this moving like pretty quickly i don't want it to drag on too long um camo pants i have cargos but even if they're not cargos camo pants are hard i don't care um it took me a really long time to actually get a pair i always seen people wearing them i've seen kanye wearing them i've seen quavo stuff like that i always thought they looked sick i finally had to get a pair got a pair of camo cargo pants i wear them all the time i wear them with my fours i wear them with my um, foam runners all the time i wear them with the quantums they're great um, these ones are from Minimal, so I think I got them on sale for like $45, I believe. Once again, that ripstop material. I'm starting to think ripstop might be like my favorite material for pants. It's not stretchy, but it's also, it keeps you warm if it's cold. But on the warmer days, you know, I live in California, there's not too many like real cold days. Um, warmer days, it's thin enough and like breathable enough to where you're not dying sweating. These ones are kind of heavy. Um, the minimal ones, they're like a military kind of uh, cargo pant type thing. So they are gonna be a little bit heavier than like the art form ones. But once again, 45, I think like 65 um, retail, I got them on sale. Uh, those kind of things, they're sick. I would say go ahead and get them. You're gonna get a bunch of wear out of them and they're not gonna fall apart on you. The next pants I'm gonna be talking about are carpenters. There's different types of carpenter pants, which I didn't really know till a little bit ago. These ones, um have like the double knee as you can kind of see they are rescue um it's like a tilly's in-house brand rsq rescue however you want to say it they're pretty good the rescue brand has some stretch to them they're a little bit on the baggier side so i don't wear them all the time but i do like them um love brown as well um, the ones that i really like though and you can get them at target are the dickies flexible and durable they're just they don't really have a name on them but they're carpenter pants you know they got like the little um, extra pockets back here you know what i'm talking about the little loop for the equipment you know you're carrying around like hammers and stuff like that all the time i have them in this like wheat color i guess you could say brownish wheat i just picked them up in this like dark gray they're kind of sick and they're only 40 bucks moving on from pants i'm gonna be talking about tops now my first one is gonna go kind of exactly against what i'm wearing right now because it has a big old supreme logo on it and like an alien or whatever that is but aside from like my couple supreme shirts i've been wanting to wear shirts that don't have as much logos on them so like this one it's a graphic tee for example um says pleased to meet you i don't think you really see it on the back like kind of like puff print almost pleased to meet you i really like the wash um, I think that's why I like the shirts without as many logos because you can focus more on like the wash of the shirt. This one's like an oversized boxy with like a little bit of crop to it. So you can focus on like the wash of the shirt. You can focus on like how it sits on your body. Like, And then this shirt I forgot to mention is from BDG. So that is actually Urban Outfitters in-house brand. Um, they do sell it at like Tilly's like I was saying, but it's Urban Outfitters in-house brand. They're a little bit more pricey for a shirt. Not really. Um, they're like $45, but in my mind, $45 is a lot for a shirt. So it's like 40, 45 bucks. You can get those. They have a ton of different ones. Um, I have a second one right here that is not hung up. It is in the brown. Um, it has a whole bunch of stuff on it, so I'm not going to try to read it. 
but I like the colors. Um, it's got it on the front, same basically like design as that one with the little chest, big thing on the back. It's pretty great. So moving on from those that are like graphic tees, these shirts right here are where it's at. These are from Walmart and they're Walmart's in-house brand called No Boundaries. And you can't really see the tech, it's just No Boundaries. They're oversized. They have, this is like a beautiful wash. The lining or like the stitching on it is a lighter version of whatever that color is on like this one and like just in general. It just, they fit great. It's an oversized shirt. It sits drop shoulder. They're like seven or 10 bucks. I know you can get them on sale sometimes. They sell two packs online, which is kind of sick. You can get two colors at the same time. They're just awesome. Um, I just go to my, like the Walmart, there's like three minutes away from my house right now, Walmart. Um, I just go there and just look for these shirts in any colors. Um, one of the first shirts I did for my clothing brand was on a blank one of these cause they're just, it was just all white. I got it in this little orange color for the fall, you know, um, they are oversized. So I go down a size, I get a size large cause they would be cute. Like it's like a 42, 44 chest for a size large. That's like usually an extra large and like t-shirts and hoodies. So definitely size down once, but overall the shirts fit great. And they go up to like a size three X. I want to say like they get big, they put in their work for the big people. Go check it out on Walmart's website at the store. Um, no boundaries, men's oversized shirts. They're awesome. All right. So last up, I'm gonna get into the shoes that I've been wearing or that I'm going to be wearing going forward preface this this is subject to change i wear different shoes quite often i'm currently looking at getting the new balance 2002r protection pack mirage gray i believe is the name if that's correct i'm proud of myself for remembering that whole name because that's a long name they just came out they're all still sitting on a couple websites my size still sitting surprisingly i want to grab them they're pretty sick i might throw a picture up right here they're awesome but there's one outlier to what i've been wearing these right here you know easy day i got them i gave the story i gave the review um turtle doves they're beautiful it's literally one of my grails one of my favorite shoes of all time the shoe's sick um they look a little funky right now because i got some socks in them to keep holding the shape you know just some old hacks um going forward i've been wearing these all the time you know foam runners i've said it in multiple videos these are literally probably, if not my favorite shoe of all time, they're in the top three. And yeah, there is not really any complaints I have with them. Uh, I wear them with pants, I wear them with shorts, um, cold days, hot days, they're literally the perfect shoe. But aside from those, because they kind of do it all, um, but wearing chunkier shoes, um, the fours have been making their way back into rotation a little bit lately. Um, I've been wearing these all the time. These are probably like my, most worn second most worn shoe um the analog 700s i'm actually really trying to work on getting the static 700 v2s just because i feel like they're sick the colorway they're basically super similar to the analogs um they can go with everything so i can stop beating those into the ground because i really love that shoe and i don't want to see it get any dirtier than it already is um last shoe up though boom i'm gonna talk about a couple others um, boom, 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 boom. Easy, quantum, everybody sleeps on this shoe. Not a lot of people like this shoe. I think they're sick. But if you can grab yourself a pair of quantums for a good price, I'd say do it. Um, so just some shoes off the top of my head. I wear Yeezys almost every day. I like my Jordans. I have like tons of respect for them. I love them. It's what made me like sneakers in the first place. I just don't wear them that often. Just like my style aesthetic and stuff like that. Um, doesn't really match as well all the time, but I do love them. Um, there have been the military black fours. There have been the all black ones. Can't really remember the name. Those ones are sick. The can the black canvas fours. There we go. Those ones are dope. I want to get my hands on some of those. Um, there's just some different ones and stuff like that coming out. There's the low top ones that came out that almost look inside out. I don't know the name of them. I'm gonna try to find a picture. They're dope. Um, the Yeezy 700 MNVN laceless analog colorway. Sick. I think that's kind of all I got. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I'm gonna be trying to get more consistent. This is just like a little quick one to put out there to kind of like come back, show everybody that like I'm still here. I'm gonna be trying to get more into this. Should have a vlog coming out probably next week or in the next couple days. 
Um, I'm trying to like vlog my life and stuff like that a little bit more, get away from just sneakers and clothes, you know, try to get everything shown. And yeah, if you like the video, go down, hit the subscribe, hit the like, and I'll see you guys on the next one.